Hey everyone, I'm Cindy Eiler and I help you understand and transform your life. And I'm talking today about your ex and how you... It happened no matter who broke up, no matter who was right or wrong. If you were in a real relationship, it's going to be hard to move on, to stop thinking about them. No matter how much you hate or love them, it just happens like that in relationships. So how to stop thinking about your ex because it drives you freaking nuts. You don't want to think about them. Or maybe you do because some people do want to think about their ex. Um, but you know that you need to move on, hopefully. Or you might be in denial about it. But no matter what, you're probably not feeling good about the fact that you're thinking about them and it ain't happening. So how do you get on with life? Because ultimately that's what you need to do. My <laughs> Sorry, I know it's not a beauty contest, but it's windy out here and I just don't want to look like a complete dork the whole time I'm talking to you, but I may not achieve that desire. <laughs> so let's just get past it. Let's get, let's move on. So what can you do? So, you know, I think most people have been through this situation. I certainly have. And, you know, in some cases it takes a long time to get past finally moving on even if you did get into another relationship there's something there that you know you miss or pulls you but regardless let's just talk about the first thing first the thing is with your ex whether things were to get better or work for you again or not like don't plan on it on getting back together like have that hope like I don't want to say don't have hope for it but if you broke up it's for a good reason there's a reason why you broke up and you know most likely if there's a good enough reason for you to break up then there's gonna be probably good reasons to move on and you know there are those cases where people get back together but usually when people get back together you're gonna to continue to work on the stuff that wasn't working and you know it'll be an ongoing thing and if it was a like I said a big enough issue for you to break up to begin with it will be something that doesn't just disappear because you broke up and you made up and you're both you know thinking you know you're gonna understand each other better and you know make it right and you know it just comes with work but that's another aspect I'm talking about how to get over to let go to move on how to stop thinking about your ex um, and move on so if you I just want to end this part if you were to possibly get back together you will be better off having moved forward in your life somehow rather than being still stuck in the past because if you got back together with someone when you were stuck in the past it'll be more of that. But if you got back together with them somehow when you moved forward, then both of you, or hopefully, definitely you have, if you have moved forward, and hopefully they did, um, have changed some and got a new perspective and can uh, approach it in a better way. Okay, so it's important whether or not you get back together that you do move on. So let's just set that as a premise to be as successful as you can be if it were to happen again you do have to have moved on in a way of you know what i'm getting on with my life i'm a i'm a real adult i'm grown up and i'm gonna act like a grown up and realize that my life doesn't depend and my my happiness doesn't depend on someone else and if you think that the standard of your life or your happiness depends on someone else then you know you're you're you definitely need help 
you need help. And I'm not saying that in a negative or bad way. Seek help. Contact me. Because you need to know that that's not true and how to deal with that. Because as long as you believe that, you are never going to be fulfilled and happy in your life, even with the happiest relationship. Because it'll never be happy enough or sustaining enough to sustain somebody else being your life and your happiness. So that's one thing. But to move on, okay, you broke up, you want to move on, you don't really want to be thinking about this person all the time. And maybe even everywhere you look, you have memories with this person. Because you did things together, you were together, you, you went certain places, you ate certain places, you traveled and vacationed to certain places. So what you need to do is actively start creating new memories. Creating new memories. And the more you start creating new memories, that means that you are moving on. You are doing things differently. You're getting out of what was and you're, you stop living in the past and you're moving on into your now and into your future. So be conscious about it. You know, if you have friends, plan a trip. Say, you know what, let's go away for the weekend and go to somewhere different or go vacation by yourself somewhere else different. And maybe it's not the best idea unless you need to vacation by yourself. Sometimes it's nice to make memories with other people and you're not by yourself just thinking, oh, I'm all by myself. Like, you know what, take the victim out of the situation. Do your best to create memories with people or doing things, even if it's on your own, where you're not going to feel, you know, depressed about it because that's not helping. That's not creating new memories. That's still living in the past and that's still not creating new memories. It's just creating more of the same victim, sad, lonely, depressing memories. You don't want to create those kind of memories. You want to create memories of um, having fun with friends at new places, discovering new things. And if you don't have people to go with, I lead amazing trips with groups of awesome people throughout the year. And I have a trip coming up to um, Bimini, Bahamas in May for a week. I have a 12 day trip in Egypt in August and a seven day trip in Hawaii. So you can do something like that where you're with other people and you have an intention that you want to heal something. You want to move on from something. You want to feel better. You want clarity. You want guidance. You want to know what you need to do to feel better and live your best life. And coming on a trip like that with me, you will get that and a lot more. And you will feel so much more connected to yourself, with yourself. You'll understand yourself a lot more and you'll be a lot more at peace and happiness and you'll have a plan and a path and you'll meet awesome people that are walking the same kind of, maybe not the same issue, but could definitely probably relate and having their own things. And it's not like a big, like, um, uh, you know, therapy session, but it's inner growth and it's, it's getting connected and like I said, understanding yourself, why you're here, what is your destiny, what is your purpose and how you can live your life in the most satisfying, fulfilling ways. So to get away from those memories, it may take time, but if you really want to do it, heed my words, be conscious, f start creating new memories, Start doing things that are different and new and just make sure that you're doing that like a couple times a month. Like you just make a plan, put it on your calendar, make sure it happens. Um, and, you know, the more that you're doing new things, the more you're getting away from doing living in the past. And as long as you're continuing to think about the past and do things that were like the past, you're living in your past. And it will be difficult to get yourself out of those thoughts and that the energy of that person. And um, if you really want to move beyond that and get out of that rut, get out of that, those feelings of having to think about them all the time when it just sucks. You don't want to do that. 
um, you just want it out of your head, then join some groups, do some different things, create new memories, make it a priority. Make it a priority. And when that person pops in your head, get used to doing something. The minute that person pops in your head, you're going to have, think of a list of things you can do to change the, the thought in your head. Okay, so you can do this ahead of time. So when it happens, you know what to do. It's bike week. So we have motorcycles constantly now for a while. Okay, so like you can decide, okay, when they pop in my head, I'm going to think of my favorite vacation destination and how I'm going there. When they pop in my head, I am going to read something inspirational. When they pop in my head, I'm going to remember why I'm not with them anymore and why I'm so happy to be on my own. Because you know what happens is in regardless of who left and how much you love or hate the person, you're always going to remember the good stuff too. And it seems like you tend to start remembering the good stuff more than the bad stuff. And then you're like, oh man, why did I do that? I kind of regret that. But if you really stop and go, okay, why am I really not with this person? Then you remember the reasons. Then you go, oh great, I am so glad I am not with that person anymore. So remember, when you're remembering the good memories, also turn to why you're not with that person and what the bad memories are because I am quite sure if you're not together they way outweigh the good memories I don't know why our minds do that our minds try to make us feel like oh they were so good when we know we know in the heart of heart of things that it wasn't that good so give it a go you have to be consistent you have to be persistent. You've got to make a plan. You got to put it on your calendar. You got to make it happen. And I work with people one on one in groups over the internet as well. And like I said, I take people on amazing retreats around the world to just clear their minds, get out of it for a while and get back to themselves in a way that they that you may never attain without doing that process i'm really good at it i've been doing it for taking people on trips for probably 16 years now so i'm not new at it i'm very seasoned at it i know what i'm doing and i see my my clients transform all the time so look me up contact me let's talk about how i might be able to help you and everybody needs something different so it starts with a conversation. So get a hold of me if you're struggling with anything, whether it's your ex or anything else in your life, because I help you understand your understand and transform your life. And I've been doing these little soundbite videos on my Cindy Eiler Spiritual Journeys page. So if you're not um, on that page, please go there and like it and set your notifications. So you know when I'm going live, or at least when I post a video, I've been doing these videos every day, except for Sundays, and um, I'm always giving you some kind of tip to help you hugely in your life. So I hope you'll be back. I hope you enjoyed this. Take care and peace.